To our first story for today, and a clinician-led healthcare artificial intelligence company is tackling some of the biggest issues in healthcare. Harrison.ai have rapidly developed breakthrough software in IVF, chest x-rays, brain CTs, and soon skin conditions as well, all with the aim of helping clinicians make the right diagnosis faster to treat patients sooner. For more on this, I am joined by co-founder and CEO, Dr. Angus Tran. Welcome to Ticker Insight. Thanks for having me here. No worries at all. It sounds like really exciting stuff, um, stuff that could help people save their lives. What is Harrison.ai, I suppose, just to start? So we are an Australian-based um, AI technology company. We are clinician-led. Um, and the goal for Harrison is to build cutting-edge AI technology and putting that into the hands of clinicians with the explicit goals of increasing the accuracy of diagnosis uh, improve time to diagnosis, as well as access to care in places where it may not be available. And we want to do that uh, by building these tools uh, in a very quick turnaround time. We started in the field of radiology with our chest X-ray and CT brain product. Uh, and now we are extending into the space of uh, biopsy diagnosis uh, in pathology space as well. Incredible. So can you tell us a little bit more about the company and I suppose your journey founding it as well? It's not the sort of uh, average startup, I suppose. Yeah, my background is I'm a with medical doctor by training. I went to uh, medical school here at the University of New South Wales. And during this time, I got really inspired by the idea of being able to help more patients uh, than you can physically see in your lifetime as a doctor. And I see artificial intelligence is one of the enabling technology that allow us to scale uh, the, the knowledge and the capabilities of physicians uh, beyond what they can achieve within their lifetime. And that's the genesis of Harrison. Uh, we combine the um, deep technology uh, insight from artificial intelligence uh, and clinical expertise to create these uh, very powerful tools that allow clinicians to look after more patients more effectively uh, in a more timely manner. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about how doctors and practitioners across Australia are actually making use of the technology as well, if you could. Yeah, so if we take our first product uh, in the field of radiology uh, in a company that we uh, uh, supported called Analyse.ai, which is the ventures that Harrison uh, was a part of um, in the field of radiology, uh, we built a first product called a chest X-ray solution now, you know, as a patient, if you go and have a chest X-ray for a number of reasons, either at the emergency department or through your general practitioners, uh, you typically uh, face an anxious wait of days to weeks before you receive the result for that chest X-ray analysis. Um, the clinicians who are doing this interpretation can uh, be reading it at night after a very long shift, or perhaps maybe distracted by a phone call and there's always a potential for a misdiagnosis there. So what we've done was to build a tool that can um, detect 124 different features on a chest X-ray using the power of artificial intelligence. We can analyze this chest X-ray um, and uh, provide a second opinion uh, to the radiologist. So what this means is that the clinicians can improve their diagnostic accuracy, but also enabling them to prioritize their efforts so looking at the cases with the most important finding first. Uh, so it's like being able to go through your email and identify the most important email and reply to that first. The same is true here. Radiologists using AI can identify the most critical X-ray um, or CT brain and reading that first. Uh, so doing so, we believe that we can really change our care for patients. Absolutely, it's incredible technology. So I suppose, uh, Dr. Tran, what is next and how will technology and AI continue to support, hopefully support the healthcare industry as well? So if we look at globally, there's an increasing shortage of clinicians, skilled clinicians. Uh, being a doctor by training, I know it takes a long time uh, to train a doctor, six years in medical school, uh, another six years of specialties training. So it takes anywhere between uh, 10 to 15 years to produce a specialist radiologist or pathologist. And we know that as a society, we would not be able to keep up with the increasing demand for healthcare. The role for AI is to scale knowledge of healthcare and the accurate diagnosis, but at the power of computing and the scalability of software. And we see that as a society progress, we will need this kind of underlying technology to help us combat current and future health challenges. And by doing so, uh, that's how we can maintain or improve the standard of care 
um, while maintaining a reasonable cost of care that uh, most government in the world are still uh, struggling to maintain. Absolutely. Dr. Angus Tran, thank you so much for your time and providing us with your insight on today's episode.